Good morning, students. I hope you all are fine and safe. Students, you have to follow the SOPs in this COVID situation. My name is Ms. Rakshi Saber. I am your computer teacher. This is your online with smart computing book file. Students, today we will study chapter 2 of your book. And chapter is computer memory. This is the block diagram of CPU. Block diagram means internal view. Look at the diagram. With the help of input devices, we give instructions to the CPU. CPU basically decides what sort of instruction is it. With the help of control unit, it passes the instruction to two of the main unit of CPU. If the problem is mathematical or logical, it will pass the problem to arithmetic and logic unit. But if we need to store anything, then it will pass the instruction to memory unit. And then, with the help of output devices, we can see the result on our screen. Students, when you give instruction to the computer, these instructions get converted into a new language, that is, machine language. This is how computer system works. Question is how data is stored on computer. The computer only understands the machine language. It is in the form of zeros and ones. It means a computer works on the concept of on and off. The computer can only be in two states. On that is one and off that is zero. The two numbers are known as binary digits. A computer memory is measured either byte or bit. A bit a byte consists of eight bits. Other units for measuring computer memory are one byte is equal to eight bits. One bit is equal to four bits. One kilobyte is equal to one twenty four bytes. One megabyte is equal to 124 kilobytes. One gigabyte is equal to 1024 megabytes. One terabyte is equal to 1024 gigabytes. Students, let's recall bit and byte. Bit stands for binary digit. Each one or zero is a bit. It is the smallest unit of information or data which can be stored on a computer. Bytes. 8 bits combine to form a byte. Each character that you type with the keyboard is made up of 1 byte. Therefore, 1 character means 1 byte. For example, when you type A, it is actually stored as 01000001, which is 1 byte. Similarly, all characters have their corresponding codes made up of 8 bits or bytes. Therefore, 1 byte is equal to 8 bits. Now, what is primary memory? Primary memory or internal memory is also known as the main memory of the computer system. It is used to store data and programs running in the computer. It is fixed on the motherboard. Inside CPU, primary memory is of two types, RAM and ROM. Now let's see what is RAM and ROM. RAM stands for random access memory. RAM is also called read-write memory. It is, it, it holds the data temporarily. It is a volatile memory as the data disappears when power is switched off. Now ROM. ROM stands for read-only memory. It keeps data permanently. You can read only information permanently. Programs are stored on ROM chip. When a computer is manufactured, ROM is a non-volatile memory. As the data remains stored, even if the power is switched off. Secondary storage memory. Secondary memory 
is a permanent storage memory. It allows to change, print copy, move or delete data whenever required for this purpose. External storage devices are used as hard disk, floppy disk, CD-ROM, DVD and pen drive. Let us study about these devices in detail. Hard disk is a very large storage capacity and high data transfer speed. It is kept the PC box hard disk consists of several disks for flat coated on both sides with a magnetic material. The platters rotate at high speed. Each disk surface is able to store data. Next storage devices, floppy disks. Floppy disks were used earlier to store data. Now they are replaced by CDs and DVDs. Floppy disks can store a small amount of data. The disk is thin, piece coated with the Magnetic material floppy disk is used to carry and transport able data. Now CD. CD stands for compact disk. CD has a large amount of storage capacity. You can read data but can't write up. CD are generally of two types. CD are compact disk recordable. The data can only be written on only once. On these disks, you can neither erase nor any new data can be written on it. Second is, second type is CD RW, CD rewritable. This, it means you can store the data and can also erase it. Fourth storage device is DVD, a digital versatile disk, is very similar to CD. Optical disc technology for distributing multimedia and feature movies. It provides a better quality picture. DVD is made up of several layers of plastic. Each has many tracks of data. The three types of DVD are DVD, R, DVD, read writable, DVD video. And DVD ROM. The last storage device is pen drive. It is a pen like device. It is a small portable device which can store a large amount of data. It is attached outside the computer at USB port. Pen drives are faster and more reliable than floppy disks. We learn computers can only understand a language called machine language. A byte consists of 8 bits. RAM and ROM are two computer memories. Secondary memory stores that are permanently for future use. Thank you, Class 5. I will be back with a new topic very soon. Till then, complete your work and do exercise pages of this chapter and PDF is attached to it.